Good evening fellow YouTubers, welcome back to Sam's Allotment. Well, I'm back down here today, it's Sunday evening. Um, I've been down here most of the afternoon, just getting on with some potting up in the greenhouse, doing bits and bobs, making the most of this nice weather. We've had quite nice blue skies most of the day today, but I do love how them clouds look. You can't beat a beautiful evening sky. Absolutely cracking. Look at that. Amazing. But yeah, it's been yeah, a glorious day. Come down and... Uh, Walked in the greenhouse and it said 30, uh, 30 odd Celsius, so nice and warm in there. Um, yeah, but everything's looking pretty good, guys. Like I said, not been able to do a lot um, due to the weather that we've been having just over recent weekends with a storm after storm after storm. Everything's absolutely soddened, um, even down to my garlic again. So I've got to re all the garlic and aerate them out and hope they survive. Um, yeah, but it's all looking pretty good. Um, the daffodil bulbs that I put in all the way across the back, you can just see some of the tips popping out now. Um, we'll go a bit closer. And yeah, you can see the tips just up across the back all coming out all the way across the are. Um, now, I'm not going to get much of a flower off them this year, if I'm truthful, uh, but hopefully come next time, they'll, I'll get a lovely arrangement all the way across the back of this bed. Um, what I'm going to try and do is put some crocus in there um, and other bits and bobs. Um, try and just make this a very self-sustained self, self bed, if I'm truthful. Um, I do need to move this plant just here. I need to move it further down here, to probably about here, actually. Um, Sweet Williams, I'm happy where they are, and I've got a lot more Sweet Williams going on in the greenhouse. Um, so, yeah, I'm not going to be sure to Sweet Williams. But, yeah, I just want to make it so that this, basically, all year round, has got something growing in it. Uh, make it very self-sustained. Um, now, for the newcomers that have joined, um, the new subscribers, obviously, welcome. I do hope you enjoy the content, like all the others do. Um, now, I have had a few inboxes and questions asked about what this sign is at the front of my plot. Now, literally, it needs a bit of work doing to it, a bit of painting. It's called a weather forecasting stone, and it basically says that on there. Um, yeah, so, it's pretty, just a bit of humour, really, more than anything. So, uh, yeah, it turns a few heads on open day, makes a few people smile and giggle. Um, but, yeah, that's how it's looking. And basically, you have a rock on a wire hanging off. Um, which is all part of the humour. Um, so yeah, it's just just a bit of humour really. It's all that's just me. It's a bit of my personality to put into the plot, to be honest. Um, Cleopatra, she was already on the plot when I took it on. Um, but yeah, so other than that, there's not a lot I can show you. Obviously here on the uh, main plot, apart from the fact that like I said, I've got to redo the garlic, and they're not looking too bad at the minute, if I'm truthful. Um, yeah, they're, they're hanging on, <laughs> uh, but they definitely need a bit of aeration doing, a bit of lifting and uh, get that soil lifted and aired out a little bit. But other than that, really, really pleased with how they're looking. Uh, but what I'll do, guys, is I'll leave this here and I shall catch you up at the greenhouse. Right, so here we are up at the greenhouse, guys. Um, I've had a little bit of an issue up here just over the last couple of weeks with uh, either rice, mice or rats. Rice? <laughs> um, yeah, mice or rats in the greenhouse, unfortunately. Um, I'm hoping I've managed to stop them coming back in um, by filling in as many of the entrances as I can possibly find. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have to see on that. Um yeah, but they keep digging all out here as well, all around the edges of the wood chip and stuff. So, yeah, annoying, but there's not a lot I can do. Um, but, yeah, it's all looking really good. Um, obviously, for you newcomers as well, um, this is my decking area, my sun lounger. Um, I've got a kettle, gas bottle in there, I've got a sofa in there, a sink in there. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a little bit of a man cave to a degree. Um yeah, these doors both open. It does need a clean up, so ignore the mess. Um, but yeah, I've got a sofa over the back, kettle. Yeah, it just needs a real good clean in here, guys. It's never normally like this. This is, uh, yeah, I've got to get it clean for the missus comes down. She'll tell me off. She cleaned it last time. Um, but yeah, there's decking all round here. But as you can tell by the two slats there, that's all rotten. Um, but what I'm going to do, because the wind's picking up, is we'll get in the greenhouse and we'll have a look what's going on in there. Oh, just a quick, this rhubarb. Is doing absolutely amazing. The size of the heads that are coming through on it. Yeah, doing really, really well. So hopefully come next year I can eat that one, but I will be eating the one that's round there. Um, in the greenhouse, guys, um, we have Picasso potatoes chitin, which are my main crops, and my second earlies are Wilja, which are also chitin right now. Um, I think I'm doing it right. If I am chitting these wrong, guys, by having them in the greenhouse, please let me know in the comments. 
I was just told, you know, to put them in egg boxes and put them in a windowsill. So I'm, it's not really a windowsill, it's a very big glass house. But uh, if that is wrong, guys, please let me know in the comments. It would be appreciated. I don't really want to lose the sets, if I'm truthful. Um, in the greenhouse, as you know, we've got all the dahlias going on. Um, these particular dahlias are Dahlia Collect Dandy, which is in that one. Um, Dahlia Giant Hybrid is in that one. And a Dahlia Black Beauty is in that one. And then all of these ones are Dahlia Dwarf Cactus. All these ones in here are Dahlia Dwarf Cactus. I've got these two pots here are ast Astables, um, which are growing lovely now. I've just started to get growth coming through on these ones now. So, yeah, hopefully they're going to grow lovely. This is my crazy love Dahlia in this pot here. And it has actually also got growth growing. You can just see the little sprout coming out the side now. So, yeah, really pleased with that. Um, these are all dahlias across here in these all these black tubs that you can see. This little one is just a test. It's just one of the tubers that fell off. I'm just seeing if it will grow anything. Um, but they're from a set that I picked up for 2 99 from Home Bargains, I believe it was. Um, yeah, but for 2 99 for eight, eight tubers, very nice tubers. Um, yeah, I'm not going to say no, uh, pass up on the offer. Um, yeah, so I've got them in at the moment. And then in over here, we have the leek, elephant leeks, I believe them ones are. Um, these are pumpkins. Um, might have done them a little bit too early, but I'm just messing about really. Um, just having a bit of fun, putting stuff in. Um, these onion sets, are all, I've also put these onion sets in today. Um, it does say that I can put them in in March, but, you know, they're under glass. I can't see it being a big problem. Um, also, we have the Sweet Williams, which are doing really well. Um, the only thing I've noticed, guys, is with any plants, just make sure that you turn the tray around, because as you can tell, they're leaning quite, quite a bit. So what I've done is turn them that way, because the sun comes out from behind us. Um, but, yeah, they're coming on really well. I've also done a tray of 20 Brussels sprouts, um, Esham specials, so I'm intrigued to see what I get from them. I've done 20, but I'm happy if just 10 of them sprout. I don't want the whole 20. Um, it's only for me, my missus and my daughter, so yeah, 10 plants is more than enough for us. And the size of my plot, I ain't really got room for 20 plants. Um, these are also, these are cucumber, um, Passandra F1s. Now... I've put these in, people are going to say, oh, that's too early, probably, um, and yeah, you're probably right. The only reason I've done it is because it is warming up in here, and uh, yeah, that is a really old, old packet of seeds. I don't know how long it's been lying around this plot floor, plot, plot four, I can't even get my words out today. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd get them in, but that's pretty much it, guys, on the uh, the plotting upside. But yeah, the shelves are filling up pretty quickly, um, so I think an investment of another 6 be 6 greenhouse or something, is going to be quite handy as a like just a shelving greenhouse for potting on so i think no investment to go somewhere like bang outside there or something some of that size that i can sit on there and just walk out straight into the other one and uh use that as like my uh sewing sewing like greenhouse to be honest so but yeah that's pretty much it guys i'm not going to uh carry on much more because i don't want to go on too long um but i will hopefully be able to come and update you next weekend providing the weather stays okay which not, judging by the weather forecast it's probably not going to be okay um so yeah on that note guys um hopefully i shall update you again hopefully next sunday so for now guys take care and i shall see you on the next one bye bye for now